goes across to his right. That kind of behind his net, Liam Robertson, loose puck in front, passes for first shot, and a goal! Callen on a feed from Santerno gives the Knights a quick 1-0 lead. What a great pass there. Anthony Callen setting up in the slot after the turnover from Kelly. Santerno found him right in front of that, and what a shot. I'm sorry, Callen with the goal, and he good to see him get moving here for the Knights. Santerno an assist as well at 325. Out with Callen. Callen ahead for Richardson, speeding in on the right wing, cuts the net, Richardson holds, shoots, and he scores! Oh, what a move from Richardson, sliding across and beating him on the ice. 2-0 goal the Knights in the lead. Second goal for the Knights tonight for Richardson. That's his third on the season. And you're right, Bob, what a move. Coming up the right wing into the neutral zone on his backhand, went across the crease, fell down, and put it past Connor Murphy. What, what a move by the freshman. That was a great goal. Power move by that line has been uh, fun to watch so far. Richardson, Callen, and Santerno have accounted for both Clarkson goals. Right corner for Secos. Up the rim of the circle, back for Martino, right wing corner. Martino across for Callen, the skate shot! And same man rebound, and the goal! Santerno on the rebound! It was rubbed down by the goaltender Murphy. Santerno waits on the doorstep and backhands it in, and the Knights are now up 3-0 with a power play goal. And that completes the hat trick on the line, Bob. That's Richardson, Callen, and Santerno all with a goal here in the first period. But well, what a power play for the Knights. And another goal added to the tally here tonight. His fifth goal on the season, Santerno. And we have a goaltending switch here. It's going to be Garrett Nieto, the junior, going in net. Oh, the log two on one developing here. Secos. Secos with Martino. Across for a back for Secos. First shot. And a goal! Oh, what a goal for the Knights. 4 nothing. Clarkson leads. A great feed from Martino across for Secos. Just a classic two-on-one executed perfectly. Secos on the left to Martino, back to Secos. And really no shot there for Nieto. That was just a beautiful thing of passing between the two Golden Knights. 15-26. Time of the goal. And Clark's rolling right now in the first uh, 15 minutes of this game. Out for Campoli. Big cross for Power. Power drives that net. Power forwards goal. Backhander shot. Oh, what a save made. Rebound and a goal. It's going to be a goal for the Golden Knights. And a penalty of coming on Union for a slag. Power gets the goal. Five goals in this first minute of play. Nieto. 16-49, time of that and the penalty. Left wing side, Knights win the faceoff. Callum puts it back for power. Now for Seco, left circle, across to Martino for a quick shot, and he scores! Martino scores on the pass from Seco's 6 nothing. Goal the Knights after the power play goal. Secos and a quick one-timer inside the post on Nieto. Clarkson has put up six goals in this first period of play. Oh, I hear a good bump there. Goslin feeds it front for a chance of shot, and Campbell scores! Alex Campbell makes it 7 0. Two time of the goal and Campbell's first point of the night. 
icing waved off one more time. Jacome on it. Martino waits in front. Should go for Martino and a goal! What a slick move by Martino. Jacome took it out in front. And Martino, he almost faked the shot to miss the puck. And he goes to the net. What a beauty for Martino's, Eric Martino. Martino's fourth point tonight had three assists in the first period. And what a move. And what a hustle play by Jack Jacome to beat the icing and find a wide open Martino right in the slot. Put one past the Union netminder, and it's 8 0 with 18.33 left to go here in the third period of the ECAC hockey. You don't see him too, too often. Callan across for Santono with four points looking for it. Santono throws his man in the ice. That was Anthorn. That gets a roar from the crowd. 19 0 1, I should say, at Walker to close it out. Shot towards goal, and we should tell he catches out of the air. Goes Hodge, you should say Hodge with a chance in front. And on to his right. As it's a shot, we should tell you a save. Rebound, and it goes in. Gabriel Seeger gets the goal on the 17th shot. And the five on three will keep a five on four. It's 8 1 now. Two Just more seconds. Santa pass in front, knocked down. We shall he legs at it, and it goes in for Union. Two straight power play goals. This time it's going to be Union's Josh Kosak getting the goal. So Kosak gets his third goal of the season, his ninth in his career. For the Sarah County Industrial Development Agency post game show. Take it away, boys. Here with Coach Howji. Coach, a great win tonight. Oh, what do you think was a couple of your keys to victory here? Well, I thought our compete level was much higher. I thought we really did a really good job of uh, being up in the play defensively and then transi transitioning the puck. And our forwards, like, were able to make plays off the rush. It was it was one of the best games we were, uh, you know, really detailed attacking. Yeah, a lot of multi-point scores tonight. Can you speak to the depth that this team have to have that many multi-point scores in a game? Well, I think it's a strength of ours, and it's something that we've been focusing on and trying to get more guys going. Um, this was <laughs> We've had a couple frustrating games, so it was nice to see the guys get rewarded and really go. So you had a, a new starting goaltender tonight, Jacob Musatelli. He did a great job. Can you speak to how prepared he was to come into this game and take over Ethan Hyder's spot? Well, Ethan's outstanding, and, um, you know, Moose has been working out so hard. So really happy for him to get rewarded, uh, get an opportunity to come in, and he did a great job. He was calm, um, disappointed there we, uh, on the, in the penalty kill that we gave a couple up there for him. So looking to tomorrow night, a rare Sunday night game against the RPI engineers. What are you guys looking for a second time around against RPI? Well, we got to back up this performance with one tomorrow night. I mean, we got to compete. For us, that, that's the key is our compete level. If we do that, we'll be in a good spot. If we're taking shortcuts, not playing the right way, we could be in trouble. Awesome. Thanks, Coach, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. So we're down here with Luke Santerno. Luke, a great game for you and your guys. Can you speak to how you guys got the momentum to uh, win this game tonight? Uh, I think it started in practice this week. Um, you know, we didn't have a good showing last game, uh, first game from break. So we really emphasized everything we needed to do this week, and uh, I thought we executed well. So a multi-point game for you tonight, two goals, two assists. Uh, what do you think was the key to getting your offense rolling tonight? Uh, I thought our line had good chemistry today, you know, just keep things simple. Um, wanted to be up ice quick, and for the most part, it paid off. Yeah, and uh, again, great win. Uh, what are you guys looking for tomorrow against the RPI engineers? Again, you guys lost to them at their home. What are you expecting them from, them from them tomorrow? Yeah, I think we owe them one as well as we owe these guys one. So I think it's kind of the same game plan. Um, I thought we stuck to it today and can't get away from it tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, Luke. Uh, congrats. We'll see you tomorrow. Bob, back to you.